This video was captured 12 nautical miles away from where the MV Zim Kingston was seen spewing smoke as 10 shipping containers were in flames. It's still not clear how the fire was started, but the Canadian Coast Guard has confirmed that two of the containers were carrying 52,000 kilograms of a toxic material called potassium amoxanthate. However, officials are saying there is no danger to human life at this time from the toxic smoke. Air quality monitoring teams are ensuring that there are no readings that indicate hazardous air quality for communities. Along with the fire, their cargo ship lost 40 containers into the ocean due to the ship listing to one side from a heavy storm. Some of the containers were seen floating nearby, but others have submerged underwater. Only eight of those containers have been retrieved. And with Hurricane Category 3 winds hitting the west coast today, cleanup efforts have been hampered. Chief exist. Harvey Underwood of the Say Out First Nation Here is concerned. In, uh, as Coast Salish people and as, as uh, St. Chauvin speaking people, our way of life is the ocean. And uh, we clam dig, we crab, we fish, and we have um, places where we go for storytelling out in the Gulf Islands. And we just don't want our way of life taken away and with the, with these tankers multiplying year by year, you know that I believe they have to have some kind of a, a monitoring safety safety uh, precautions. Although the flames have now been put out, it continues to smolder. All mariners in the area are asked to stay two nautical miles away because of the shipping containers in the sea that could be combustible. The containers are currently drifting approximately 12 nautical miles off the east shore of Vancouver Island in a north-northwest trajectory parallel with Vancouver Island. Um, based on this information, we do not anticipate them coming ashore, um, but that doesn't mean there is not the possibility of that happening. Karen Riston from Living Oceans says despite assurances, she is still concerned about the sea life. If those containers of toxic material have ruptured and that gets into the water column, it's extremely toxic to marine life. It will burn the gills of fish. It'll scald the throats of marine mammals to feed in the area. It, it could be really quite ugly. Here in the Burrard Inlet, the tanker traffic will increase from 60 to 400 once the Trans Mountain Pipeline is built. And experts fear it's just a disaster waiting to happen. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.